Hey folks, Twisha Christian. I wanted to show you guys something that I came across and I'm actually surprised that all the years that I've been involved in the dinar that I have not seen this video. But I'm going to play this video and then I'm going to come back. But there's something that I have to address and that is post dinar revaluation, the dinar community, and a few other things. And uh, this movie, this short film, moved me because it reminded me of all the times, of all the things that I did, the mistakes that I made when I first got into this investment. And I'll talk about those. But one of the things that I want to make clear is the way that I look at myself, I'm just a code breaker. And that's what I try to do. And whether it's looking at Kim Clement or looking at what the world is saying, uh, what people are dreaming about, uh, that's the way I look at myself. I don't claim to have any inside intel or anything like that. And as you already know, for many, many years, there have been many gurus that have been claiming inside intel. And some of them, they may have, uh, I know some of them, they have people on the ground there in Iraq. Some of the information that people have presented in the past seemed like it was legit. But one of the things is, is that I was affected uh, greatly in the beginning of this and it's one of the reasons why I started making videos but I just want to play the trailer the link to the full episode is down below in the description so this short film is called The Bond and it was uh, created by and directed by Brian Campbell uh, about six or seven years ago so this trailer is only five minutes so after the trailer is over uh, I'm going to go ahead and come back and talk can ask why. It's not doing anything for us, Dalton. I've been looking for something with a faster rate of return. I want to put it into foreign currency, specifically Iraqi dinar. Dinar is an extremely risky investment, Nolan. U.S. banks aren't even exchanging it anymore. I know all that. I found a secure website that will ship dinar to me directly. Let's talk Iraqi dinar for a moment. If you tune in regularly, you know that this is a currency I've been watching for some time now. You can roll the dice on $100 and still come out with 100000 once the dinar revalues. But see, that's the catch, folks. When will it revalue? Rest assured that the money maven will be the first to let you know. This is the money maven. Hi, my name is Nolan Jessup. And what's your call in regards to, Nolan? I'm looking for more information on the dinar revaluation, when it will actually happen. All the current updates on that are on my blog and daily videos. Thanks for calling. No, wait, please don't hang up. Yes. Seven months ago, I bought $10,000 worth of dinar, and I don't know if I can keep waiting for it to revalue. Do you want to sell it? Not if it's going to revalue in the next week. Even if the process were to begin tomorrow, which it very well could, it's going to take more than a week before you saw a return on your money. Now, the dinar is getting a little bit harder to find, and banks aren't buying and selling anymore, so you may be in luck if you're looking to unload it. Well... Look, that's all I can tell you, my man. I've got another call coming in. Good luck. Thanks. Hi, this is Nolan Jessup. I still have the dinar if you're still interested. No, no, I, can't, I, I need the full 10. I can't afford to take any less. Hi, this is Nolan Jessup. I got your message. This is Nolan Jessup. Hi, this is Nolan Jessup. Earlier you said you had the money and now you don't? What's the difference? I've been assured any day now, if, well, I, 10,000. I can't afford to take any less. It's gotta be 10. No, 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 that's not gonna work. Well, let me know. Hello? Nolan, hello. This is the Money Maven. How are you? Good. I'm good. Good. I got your message. Do you still have the dinar? Yes, I do. You bought $10,000 worth, right? Yeah. I want it. I'm in L.A. right now, but I have a meeting in Seattle this afternoon. Would 2 o'clock work for you? Can it be any earlier? We're good. You set that in the back seat, if you would. Money, please. Here's the deal, my man. 
I don't have 10,000 for you. I have four right here in this envelope. Likelihood is that this will be your best offer. You can certainly take that box and walk away, but this is cash in hand right now. What do you want to do? Hey. Did you know Dalton and his wife are pregnant too? Apparently we had the same doctor. They were there, together, in the waiting room. He told me you sold Dad's bond. Okay, Iraq. After many years of oppression and war, Iraq's economy is in the toilet, and it's the value of the currency, the dinar, that's being flushed. So today, one American penny can buy 12 dinar. It's not going to be that way for long. In an effort to bring life in a financially failing country, the Iraqis plan to institute the revaluation of the currency. Soon one dinar would be worth one U.S. dime. That is a 12,000% increase in value. Sound too good to be true? Maybe. So let me ask you this. Would a $10 investment really bring havoc to your portfolio? When that same $10 could yield $1,200? It's a long shot. We shoot straight, not concerned. Go ahead and put that $10 in there. Maybe a hundred or even a thousand. You could pay for that new television or that boat you've been thinking about or you could pay for your kid's private school tuition. All right, folks, so you've, so you've seen the trailer. Go check out the movie. Come back and you know make a comment on this particular video. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we are at a crucial time period, in my opinion, the global currency reset. The dinar community effectively is going to change uh, because once the dinar has revalued and you have a few more currencies uh, that change in value, uh, you're going to have uh, people that are coming in new, right? You're going to have thousands, you know, probably hundreds of thousands of people wanting to know about currencies and which ones are going to change in value next. Even Prophet Charlie said that people will speculate on currency for like 10 years or years and years to come or something like that. And so that made me think about what's going to happen when the dinar revalues. And when you see this and how it makes you feel, this, this whole cycle is going to repeat itself again. But it's going to repeat itself with different currencies. So that's the, one of the reasons why I'm making this video. But uh, I got in this investment in 2011. And when I watched this, it, it, it was the exact same thing, the, at least the emotions, right? We're being told things are going to change. Uh, I've made mistakes like investing in the dinar instead of paying my bills because I kept, I kept hearing for three years that this thing was going to change. Getting on the conference call and spending hours. And then after a period of time, I was just like, okay, what, what is really going on here? You know, and then you have Kim Clement and his prophecies, and he talks about the gurus or these people uh, that uh, out, are out to deceive you about it and try to take uh, your dinars or take your investment. The film brought up all kind of emotions. And so even some of those same gurus that were back then in 2011, 12, and 13, some of those gurus, some of them are still around today. A lot of them have fallen off. And I, I'm not pointing out to anybody specifically but it wasn't until I started listening to Johnny from currency 365 where I began to realize you know you know what was going on and with everything that's going on right now uh, in the dinar community uh, especially over the last couple of years it's really been infected by like the Nasara movement and there have been a couple other movements that I don't want to mention here that have actually come in and they've actually infected the dinar community 
And one of the things is you're going to find out that it's not some kind of plan that somebody wanted to do and it was signed over years and years and years ago and all the events that are taking place it seems to fit Nasara but it, if whenever Nasara should have taken place if that if if that was actually done it would have been done right then and there there would have been no waiting all these events that have taken place sh it should have occurred well before where we are right now Right. And there's also a lot of other things that get into that, because then you have these people who are that genuinely listen to the message, you know, all the debt being wiped away. And that's another thing, folks. You guys got to be careful. Man, when I started in this, I heard about the prosperity packages, the St. James, If the St. James really had that that much money in it. They would have already dispersed all of that money, because every time I ask the question right back then. Well, why why do they have to wait for the dinar? I mean, why haven't they released this? Why isn't this? Why aren't these events taking place? And so that's when I knew that this whole thing with Nasara was not real, and that's why they have to change their name. And you know, and and then you have certain people who are gurus in the Nasara community, like they've been doing it for a very long time. I'm talking about years and years, and they shape and form and they make changes to it and all that. To try to fit what's going on today you know I know that uh, there's a lot of newsletters out there and the only way that these newsletters can get you to keep coming back is to keep posting stuff that it's going to happen every single day or every other day or every weekend or every holiday right every new year every budget the list goes on and on and on but that's the only way that these people can keep you any real solid information that's really out there you, the newsletter should be cut in half but it's been infected because that's all I see in these newsletters now it was about the dinar now it's all about Nasara and I didn't sign up to a newsletter to, to listen to people talk about something that they've been completely wrong about every day for the last 10 15 years yet they still get a platform you know but part of it is because they're trying to keep these people coming so what's going to happen down the road is that you're going to have a new influx of people. And a lot of these gurus that uh, have been out of the picture for a while, they're going to be coming back, right? Once this thing takes off, right? And, you know, you have a lot of people that when it happens, they're going to say, see, I told you my intel was right. Okay, you're going to have people that say that, but you've been saying it every other, every other week or every other day for, for the last five years. And so... Regardless, you're going to have people attracted to that. So even I remember, this was back maybe five, six years ago. But I remember when I got to the point to where I was fed up. And then even myself, I was looking up all these gurus. I was trying to figure out, you know, what the heck is going on? You got this whole website with all these people. And you got a guy who's saying that they made money off of the, in the Kuwaiti dinar revaluation and and all that the only people that made money in the Kuwaiti revaluation were the people that were there in Kuwait if you happen to if you happen to get a whole bunch of dinars from Kuwait the only way that you could have gotten them is if you actually live there but there was a lot of looting going on of the Kuwaiti dinar so the only people that really benefited were the people that were there you didn't order Kuwaiti dinar online and then all of a sudden your Kuwaiti dinar is three times as much it didn't happen like that. So I say this because some of these people that are still here, it's not going to change with them because they'll be focused on the next currency, right? They're not focused on any other investments. They're not focused on the true wealth transfer. And the true wealth transfer is what we've been discussing here. It's not just about the dinar. It's about other currencies. It's about other investments. It's about the, eight, it's about, uh, the Kim Clement Wells and any other prophetic things that deal within the financial realm. And people say, oh, you don't say enough that this is for God's kingdom. I say it all the time. You may not hear it in every single video. I don't have to explain everything in every single video. And this is what this whole thing is about. It's about building God's kingdom. And yet, because we dug our wells, that we benefit too as well. We benefit for our family. We benefit for our friends. We benefit for God's kingdom. The, the amount of lives that you guys are going to touch by the time we start getting to the second and the third and the fourth well is going to be incredible you're going to have such an impact 
And if you think there's a lot of uh, wolves and stuff now, wait till after the currency reset. And then you're going to see this whole cycle all over again. But guess what? You know, most of us, once the global currency reset has taken off and we've bought the currencies we think that are, that are going to go next, we're already in a very good position. I don't have to sit there and listen about when this currency in this country may revalue. I, I've discussed uh, Kim Clement's prophecies about gold. You can make money off of gold. That's fine. I just rather would put $2,500 into a stock or in, into something else than, than put $2,500 into gold. Because the most value I could ever see is either doubling my money. But if I can put $2,500 into the dinar or any other investment in the stock market, right? Because I don't believe the Nasara line that we're going to be going to – where we're going to be exchanging our physical gold to go buy stuff. I don't believe that's going to happen at all whatsoever. So we have to be careful of that we don't get sucked back in you know, after the dinar revalues. And we're headed to the next well because after after the dinar revalues and all these other currencies revalue, we're going to be working on the next Kim Clement well and the next one after that and the one after that. And so Kim Clement said that we had to dig for our wells. Things are not, you know, a lot of people in their minds thinking that all of their student loans are going to be forgiven. They think in their mind that all this debt is going to be wiped out instantaneously. But that's not the, what the prophetic word says about the dinar I mean, for the last two years, I've heard of a financial jubilee, right? Oh, it's this year. It's this year. But yet it's still we still haven't seen it right where people magically think all these companies are going to decide to forgive everybody's debts. You know, I used to I, I, at one point I thought for a short for a short period of time, I was like, well, these prosperity packages will be coming through. And they're telling us literally each prosperity package for each individual was going to be 10 million dollars out of the St. James Trust. Or whatever trust it was. I'm like, oh, I don't have to buy that many dinars. Because I got my name on the list to receive a prosperity package. That's how much I got sucked that that's how much I got sucked into that back in 2011, 2012. And of course, after doing research, okay, I don't think there really is a prosperity package. That's ridiculous. Now it very may well could come, but it's not gonna come in the way that everybody thinks. Because if I because if you being in this Right for the kingdom of God, and then, and then you're you've invested in the wealth transfer. You are going to be a person that can help somebody take them completely out of their situation, and that is a lot of responsibility. And that's the way I see things happening, because the impact that you guys, some of you guys, are going to have on individual lives is going to be just phenomenal. And there have been many people in, this, in these investments that have been waiting on the dinar and they came and gone and they never got a part. They never got a chance to take part of the wealth transfer. And I missed it because of these gurus who are talking out of the side of their neck. There's a lot of investments that when I decided to start getting into investments, yes, being exposed to the dinar opened my eyes up to investing. But where I went from there changed my course because I stayed on the same course. I didn't look into anything else and wait and sit there and listen to some of those idiots tell me that it's going to revalue on this day or that day. And I genuinely believe them. I genuinely believe these people were telling me the truth. Man, stop listening to all that mess about Nasara. Stop listening to all that mess about next week. If you don't have all the dinars that you want, you don't want this thing to revalue, right? I don't want it to revalue right now. I want more and more and more. I want to get as much as I can up until that point. And in the meantime, I can focus on other investments. And I'm close. I'm so close that at some point here soon, I'm going to be able to leave my job without having to wait for the dinar to revalue. And that's the point. So I made this video because, you know, regardless if, it, if this thing doesn't happen within the next few months or even uh, a year from now, that you are reminded of all of this, right? The things that you've went through, the things that you had to deal with and missing out on other opportunities. And especially if you have a project or anything that God has given you, and I want to be able to be at that point to where I can say, look, it costs me. It's going to cost this amount of money to do everything that the visions that God gave me. This is how much it's going to cost. 
I at least want to be able to be in a position to where I can I can do a lot of it on my own without relying on you know any kind of Hollywood funding or people who may try to control the project. And once you can put yourself into position where you can run the business the way you want to because you have the finances to back it up, that puts you into a very good place. Like I said, like regardless of when this is when this is going to happen, I think we're going to see a repeat of these gurus. Uh, you're going to see a lot of them come back out. Uh, you guys need to be careful. You never send your dinars off. Never give them to an individual. And if you have given your dinars to anyone, right, that's claiming they can get you into a, a group, better rates, you need to ask for those dinars back. Uh, because that is exactly what has happened over the last five or six years. There are literally, if you guys go back and see my video about dinar gurus getting arrested, right? These people were literally going from house to house state to state collecting people's dinars I want you people to be ready and be prepared uh, I want you to be ready and prepared for the next wave of investments that's going to come after the dinar anyways folks thank you for listening check out the link down below in the description for the uh, for the bond short film and be safe God bless and with that being said Twisha Christian out